Hello guys, and I'm back again. This is episode 2 of Let's Mod Minecraft. And uh, I have uh, made a new uh, model that I want to show you today. And I will see if I can be a little better with the camera this time. It's a very huge model, so I will just show you here, how big it actually is. There you go. It's a very big one, <laughs> Don Cleotius. Uh, my idea with it is that it will be a very slow animal, but it will be able to one-shot you, and when it uh, sees you, it will be um, like slowly aiming to get at you. So that's the idea behind it, but I think uh, I will make a little um, aquarium for it down here. And so that's it, now we got it, so let's uh, put it in here. Oh, whoa, okay, that's... <laughs> we might need to extend that at some point but as you can see the collider is not really there yet but it does move around uh, and I like it the way the model is made uh, I actually made the model so it's capable of if it just will turn around here you see its mouth actually is made so it's capable of uh, like opening up so you can see um, like it can bite you when I get to the animations. But as you can see, it's a little problematic with the colliding right now. That's something I gotta check out and test out. Maybe I will actually look a little into that already doing this episode, because it might be nice is it, if it just doesn't sit over at the corner like that. It shouldn't be that hard. It's just some wit, but I, w I would prefer to like focus on one thing at a time and then work with that. And as you can see, it's a little high up, so it just needs a little more of a colliding box. It has to be bigger than the squids <laughs> model, because it's gigantic. In real life, it should be around uh, 6 uh, meters long. Uh, I actually think I made it a little too small. I might look into how if I oh, <laughs> I might look into if I can size it up at some point maybe. So um, so well, that's pretty much it. I think uh, the next time you see this one, it will uh, be getting some new texture, and we'll be looking into it. Let's just uh, view it fast before we end it here. There we go. Um, and that's the eye, and it has some very high teeth, strong teeth. But I think that will be it for now, guys. And um, see you in a moment. Hi. Hi. And the last time I was here, you saw me working on this Dunkleosteus, and we made a little exhibit for it, like a little tank. And uh, it has been, uh, I have been very busy with work and such, but uh, I finally found some time to work on this again and. Also, the model is very huge uh, compared to the two other models I have over here with the Ammonite on the Ichirisaurus. Um, as you can see, I haven't animated it yet, but if you saw earlier the footage before this, that I have actually changed uh, a little on the model. Um, these fins have been made to like a flat face, but uh, you see here it's a uh, Bucking a lot, or oh, actually it isn't. It isn't bucking. It's because we have uh, two uh, plane. Uh, we have like two uh, models. Uh, what will you call it? Two faces that each have the same UV at the same coordinate, and they are fighting to be the one shown uh, on my model. So I have been working a little on this and found out the way to solve this issue. Uh, the re reason it does it is because it has two faces with some content on. Uh, and the way to fix this problem would be to uh, remove one of the faces. If you are using Tabula, you can see the red dark color here and the bright red color here. I have on this face removed the red one, so you can only see this one. Oh, it's drowning on land. <laughs> So that's actually what I have been working on and I have also skinned, uh, made some skin for this model. Um, 
but I haven't fixed it here yet because I just found the solution and just wanted to give you a hint up if you have had the same issue and like it. And I am back. Uh, I want to show you a little bit of the texture. It's not completely done yet. Uh, I'm currently working on, uh, you can see there are some UV facings where I have changed the model a little. And that has changed uh, a lot on the, how it looks. Um, but I'm currently working on the color theme for the animal. I would like to like have a, the the colors that could be very nice for it would be like gray and black and orange. Um, but I want to make like a megalodon, um, and a megalodon I want to make that uh, like gray, gray, black, blackish color. So I was thinking of maybe making this one green or maybe a teal color but i already got this one that i think is okay it's light blue i could use teal for this one or maybe a carry yellow for it uh, i would like to like make it white underneath and like it should blend in uh, a little more what would you call uniquely uh, around the surface uh, the faces on this one uh, also, I'm gonna use um, this new plane tactic I found out to like make the fins a little more dynamic, like they will have a little more shape that will be more interesting to look at. Um, and I will probably close the mouth of the animal on the normal circumstances and maybe I will size the head a little. But there is a lot of work to this model because it is so big. Um, the Dunkleosteus uh, lived in the Devonian period, around 358 million years ago. Um, and it was like one of the top predators at its time, and around 9 meters long. Uh, its species, I can't really recall the name of that right now, but the, the, the were the species uh, big with fish that started to develop armor against predators and maybe for other reasons as well. Uh, actually the Dunkleosteus uh, teeth is actually scales of armor that have sw switched into teeth and it's said that it should be able to like make a vacuum uh, when it opens its mouth because of the way the bone structure and uh, well, its armor structure is made. Um, but actually some believe that this species is one of the first to like develop what later will be become bones. Um, so that's currently what I'm working on and uh, even though it doesn't look like it's near finish, I'm actually closer than you think <laughs> right now. Um, but I will need to change the color feel of it to a color I like before I really can go into the real details. Yeah. I would like to maybe scale it a little, but maybe I will actually finish it with... Um, I want to have it like 9 blocks or 8 blocks long. And currently it's 7. So that's, like, that's what I'm working for, uh, working on. and. Um, it should be maybe one block larger because uh, it's from around eight to nine meters long. Hello guys, I'm back again. And um, I've been working on a lot of this Dunkleosteus and whew, it's a very hard, it's hard work to make such a big model, but uh, I managed to uh, like use the planes to make some pretty cool graphics. You can see that clear from here because it's very deep down. Uh, but if we try to make one here, you see it has been it has grown a little, so it's around uh, eight to nine blocks long now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's uh, actually pretty close to um, what it should be uh, considered um, its real size. So uh, it seems like uh, it's a very good. Uh, example of how big it should be compared to a Minecraft character that symbolizes a person for my view. I've made some texture here. I still need a few small details, minor details somewhere. 
Maybe the eye will change a little, and I think like the teeth. I will make the teeth the same way I made like the fins here. You see, and then I might make some fine details with uh, like a black stripe or ranch stripe going through this animal, and then uh, the armor plate needs to be made in another way. But uh, I'm pretty close to being done, um, or rather making this animal. So, um, so I think I will be animating it soon. Uh, next time you see me, I will probably have the finished uh, touch look with it. Uh, where the teeth and the mouth have been made as well. And the eyes will probably change. The armor will change. Um, and then afterwards, I will um, make the animation for it. It'll just a swimming animation and I will start working on these three models uh, I will adjust some some uh, collision on these models so they are more suited to like being an aquarium and yeah well I will uh, fix some few things uh, I will fix a few things in my mod and I will uh, make sure that it works on a server now because i've been doing a lot of work without actually testing on the server again uh, and it's actually it, it could be a little dangerous to like to like test a lot of things or you know, make a lot of things and test it in a client but not test it on a server and also i will uh, get into my old server that uh, is made for this mod to be honest um, and we have some aquariums for these animals to showcase them so um, I hope you're as excited as I am and uh, I think after I have fixed these three models and tested them on the server I will um, start beginning to uh, like see how to make an environment uh, that you can find in Minecraft and um, interact with like a water area with uh, islands and stuff so um hello guys i have returned and um i have made an animation for the dog cleasters i also made some egg colors as you can see for the different animals that match their match them a little got the dog cleasters right here and you can see i've given some animations and it seemed to work fine even with uh, the shader on as i'm using here and as you can see, uh, it's a very simple animation. I will be working more with that in the future. But uh, one thing I also have done is that I've actually exported my mod now, just to make sure that it still works as it's supposed to. And as you can see, it's pretty much working like it should. And uh, you can even see the name and you can see the mod name. Uh, I will need to change that though. It has the wrong name right now, but that is actually some of the things I've been looking into. Uh, and um, I've been uh, thinking about all pre-releasing the mod a little earlier to get some feedback. So I'll actually not be making any more animals before I make some other items. Like I want to make a diver suit and uh, like a, a snorkel and things. So you can like, you can like uh, swim faster with the diving uh, feet on or what you call it and breath for longer for a longer time when you're underwater uh, so you can hunt these animals in the future and i will also be looking into um, what um, how the spawn area for this um, these uh, animals will be i think that will be very interesting to do uh, and of course i will need to like make some task behavior for them so they act more natural. I think that's a thing people usually skip, but I think it could be really be awesome if I make it right. Um, there are some small adjustments for each animal. I will need the colliding boxes and stuff will also need to be fixed a little. But uh, I am actually uh, texting, texting my uh, mod out with shaders right now because I prefer to have shaders on. <laughs> I think it really en enhances the experience of Minecraft and yeah, I really love what they do to the water in most of the shaders. So, 
put this one on. Oh, this one is actually pretty nice. I will definitely recommend this one for my mod. If this one just wanted to stop going over there, move around, please. <laughs> that actually looks pretty fine. I would definitely recommend this uh, shader for this mod. Don't know why I don't use this usually. It's very good. How about this one? Oh yeah, this looks nice. This is a very nice shader. What is that called? Cantium. I would definitely recommend you guys to use that. Uh, let's see if down here. Uh, well, it works, I think. It's fine. Well, guys. See you guys next time. And uh, I hope to soon release an alpha of this mod. And uh, can't wait to see you guys there. So have fun. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. You can like and subscribe on this YouTube channel. You can also follow me on my new uh, Patreon site. And every support you can give me will be greatly appreciated. Thank you all.